In this video, I'm going to be going over how to build a website with Bluehost step by step. I'll also be providing you with a Bluehost discount so you can save some money on your Bluehost domain name and web hosting purchase. You'll get up to 70% off Bluehost hosting plus a free domain name. Let's get started with a Bluehost tutorial going over how to build a website with Bluehost step by step. The first thing you want to do to build a website with Bluehost is to click the link in the description below so you can be taken to Bluehost. And so you can take advantage of the Bluehost discount by getting up to 70% off plus a free domain name. The discount is automatically applied. A little disclosure, the link is an affiliate link, meaning I'll receive a commission from Bluehost at no extra cost to you. Plus you'll get an awesome Bluehost discount. Once you click the link in the description below, you'll be on the Bluehost page. Click the get started button. You'll now be on the Bluehost plans page. You'll see four different plans you can choose from. The basic, plus, choice plus, and pro plan. You'll see the Bluehost hosting terms you can choose from are 12 and 36 months. You get the cheapest pricing with the 12 month term. The basic plan is a great plan if you're going to have just one site. If you're going to have multiple sites, the plus plan is a good plan as it allows unlimited websites. The choice plus plan allows unlimited websites and comes with free domain privacy and free automated backups for one year. The main privacy protects your personal information from the public and will show you Bluehost default contact information instead of yours in the public Whois database. The automated backup will back up your site daily and will allow you to restore your site to a previous backup with a click of a button in case something happens to it like a website crash or an editing mistake. Both of these add-ons can be added to the basic and plus plan. If you want both, it'll be cheaper to go with a choice plus plan. Otherwise, the basic or plus plan will work just fine if you only want to add one of these. The pro plan comes with unlimited websites and includes domain privacy, free automated backups for a year, and includes a free dedicated IP. With the dedicated IP, instead of your site sharing the same IP address with others, you'll have your own IP. The pro plan also comes with optimized CPU resources, which is good for high traffic sites. For most, the basic, plus or choice plus plan is what you want to choose from. You can always upgrade to the pro plan as your site traffic grows to a high volume. I'm going to choose the basic plan for this tutorial. Once you decide on a plan to choose, click the select button. You'll now be on the domain page where you can choose your free domain name for your site. You can type it in and search available domains under the create a new domain. If you already own a domain, you can enter it in where it says use the domain you own. If you can't decide on a domain name, you can click the create my domain later link and you can choose your free domain name at a later date in the Bluehost dashboard. Click next to proceed to the next step. You'll now be on the create your account page. You now want to input your account information. Next is the package information section. It'll have the Bluehost plan you chose with the term, the price, and you'll see domain registration free as well as the Let's Encrypt SSL certificate being free. Next is the Bluehost Package Extras section. What you see here can vary on the plan you chose as some plans come with some of these or if you didn't choose a free domain name, domain privacy won't show. All these Bluehost Package Extras are completely optional and up to you whether you want any of them or not. First is Domain Privacy Plus Protection. I do recommend Domain Privacy Plus Protection as it'll keep your personal information private so that spammers and telemarketers won't have access to your personal information and contact you by phone and email with offers of their services. When you register a domain name, no matter what company you choose, the domain goes into the public Whois database as domain names are regulated. If you select Domain Privacy Plus Protection, it'll show Bluehost default contact information instead of yours. Highly recommend Domain Privacy Plus Protection. Next is CodeGuard Basic. This will back up your site daily and you can restore your site to a previous backup with a click of a button with their one click restore. An example of where this package extra can be good is if your site gets hacked into or you mess something up while creating it or editing it, you can restore it to the version right before whatever happened took place and everything will be back to normal. This add-on can be beneficial as you never know when you might need it. It isn't necessary though. The next add-on is Bluehost SEO Tools. Bluehost SEO tools will provide you with reports, insights, and analytics regarding the SEO for your site, and it'll recommend things to do to improve the SEO of your site. 
It will also report your site to search engines. This package extra isn't necessary. It touches the basics in terms of SEO and is limited in what it tracks. It could be helpful for some if you aren't familiar with SEO at all. Next is one Microsoft 365 mailbox. This will provide you with an email address you can access via Microsoft Outlook, which is part of Microsoft Office 365. Your Bluehost account already comes with email accounts and you can set them up with email providers such as Apple Mail, Gmail, and more. This package extra isn't necessary unless you want to utilize Outlook or Microsoft Office 365 for your email. Next, you'll see single domain SSL. Bluehost does come with a free SSL certificate for your site, so this add-on isn't necessary unless you want to upgrade to a positive SSL certificate, which will allow you to show a site security badge on your site if you'd like. And with the positive SSL certificate, you'll have a $10,000 limited guarantee warranty by Komodo, which protects your customers. Next, you will see SiteLock Security Essentials. This add-on checks your website daily for malware and protects your site from hackers and malicious attacks. It will notify you if your site has been hacked into and malicious code has been placed into it. SiteLock Essentials also removes malware automatically. This add-on can be beneficial and give you peace of mind if your site were to get hacked into and malware is placed on it. It isn't necessary though. Next, enter your payment information in. Select that you have read and agreed to the terms and conditions and click the submit button. Bluehost will now email you your Bluehost receipt. You are now directed to a page where you can create your Bluehost account so you can log into the Bluehost dashboard where you can begin in creating your site. Click the create your password button. Enter a password to be used for logging into Bluehost. Accept the terms and conditions. Click the create account button. Your Bluehost account has now been created and is ready to be logged into. Click the go to login button. Enter your Bluehost login details to be logged into Bluehost so you can begin in creating your website. Once logged in, you'll be on this page where you want to click the create your website button. You'll now be on a page where it'll ask you how much help you need with building your site. Feel free to click the one that you want. You can also click skip this step. I'm going to click skip this step. The next page, it'll ask you the primary purpose of your site. You can select one if you'd like. If you click into the other tab, a drop down will show giving you more option. Under this, you can also click skip this step if you'd like to. I'm going to click skip this step. You now be on a page asking you how you'd like to build your website. On the far left is WordPress, which gives you limitless customization. And over to the right, you have the Bluehost website builder, which also uses WordPress and comes with a guided drag and drop editor. With the Bluehost website builder, you'll be limited in customizations that you can do over using the WordPress option over to the left. For this tutorial, I'm going to select WordPress by clicking the get started button. You'll now be on the create a website page. You can select what type of website it is and who you are creating the site for if you'd like. Click the continue button or skip this step. You now be on a page where you can name your site along with putting in your site's tagline. You can always fill this out later, so no worries if you aren't sure on this yet. Click continue or skip this step. You now be on a page where you can select a theme for your website. There's a bunch of pages of themes you can go through. You can also choose a theme in the WordPress dashboard. Choose a theme or click skip this step. You now be in the Bluehost dashboard. You'll see the login to the WordPress button in the top right. Click this to go to the WordPress dashboard so you can start creating your website. You can also click My Sites in the left side menu. Click Manage Site. Click the login to WordPress button in the top right. You'll now be in the WordPress dashboard where you can begin in creating and building your WordPress website. Let's get to know WordPress. If you hover over the appearance tab in the left side menu and click themes, it'll take you to the themes page. Click wordpress.org themes at the top. You'll now be able to search through thousands of themes to choose from. To choose the theme for your site, hover over the theme you want and click the install button. Once it is done installing, click the activate button. The WordPress theme is now your theme. Let's continue in getting to know WordPress. 
On the far left, you will see Post. Post is where you can add new blog posts and view and edit your blog post. Pages is where you can add new pages to your site. The Media tab is where you can upload images to your site or where your images will show that you have already uploaded to your site. Comments is where you can view comments people leave on your blog and reply to them. Hover over the Plugins tab in the left menu. Click Add New. This is where you can add new plugins for your site. Pretty much any feature or customization you would want, more than likely there is a plugin to do that. One of the best plugins that can make building your website with Bluehost easier is the plugin called Elementor. Elementor Page Builder is a drag and drop editor for WordPress. Elementor is the number one WordPress page builder and over 8 million websites have been built with Elementor. This plugin can save you a ton of time and lots of headaches figuring out how to make specific customizations. This plugin has a free version and a paid version. I provide a link in the description below to check out Elementor. If you want to activate the plugin for your WordPress site, find the plugins tab over to the left and click add new. Type in Elementor in the search field. You'll see the Elementor plugin. Click the install now button and click activate to activate the plugin. Another great site if you need help with designing or customizations in WordPress is Fiverr. Fiverr is a great place to get tasks done at a cheap and competitive price. It is helpful if you need a logo, website changes, or something else done. I provide the link in the description below. That is my Bluehost tutorial going over how to build a website with Bluehost. Give this video a thumbs up and leave us a comment letting us know if the tutorial was helpful or not as the comments help improve our tutorial. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more Bluehost web hosting tutorial videos.